Welcome to Jeff's Reviews. Today I'm taking a look at the Pelican 1660 large case. This is a really excellent case for protecting equipment, expensive things. Um, it's a waterproof case. The 1660 model that I received has foam inserts in it. Um, you can see I'm opening it up. The uh, There's latches on the side and latches on the front part of the case. There's two on each side and three on the front. There's also a air pressure equalizer on the front. As you can see, I have a bunch of junk in this one. Um, I really wanted this case for some crafting materials. Um, inside this, there's a uh, die cutting machine. I'll go ahead and take the stuff out. The uh, 1660 case is 28.2 inches. On the longest side, it's 19.66 inches wide and 17.63 inches tall. The case is made of a plastic that's got a open cell core with solid walls. Makes it really durable. Um, here I just put a piece of rug in the bottom to protect the bottom and protect my die cut machine. There are some uh, indents inside in the bottom for the wheels and the handles. Um, this case comes with a smaller one inch thick piece of foam. It comes with three of the uh, pick and pluck foam where you have a solid like a half inch outer area that's solid and then all the inside you can pick and pluck out little half inch squares to get whatever design you need for whatever you're putting in there. Um, I'm showing the uh, waterproof seal and then the egg carton top. The uh, case is watertight. Um, the latches go down. There's a side handle on each side. Um, the wheels are really nice. This is the two wheels on each side. Then there's a luggage handle for rolling the case around. There's two positions. There's a short position and I'm fully open. And then I'll go ahead and repack it here. The uh, 1660 case costs about $300. You can also get a divider set that can fit in this case. You can put uh, smaller equipment, smaller cameras or GPS units or something like that. I really wanted this for my die cut machine. I'm using it with the Big Shot Pro from Sizzix. I probably won't be using the foam pieces, but that's okay. I can use them if I need them in something else. Go ahead and do a little close up at the inside. Here's the indents for the wheels and the handle. And then there's the eggshell foam and the hinge. The hinge does use a metal bar inside it. These are the locking latches. There's also two holes for putting a lock on the case if you would like. So another look at the hinge. Really sturdy. The whole thing is sturdy. Um, you can sit on it, stand on it. I wouldn't recommend standing on it a lot, but you can you can sit on it. It's that strong. Um, I've had no problem using it. I've been using it to tote around this die cut machine. I've taken it to the library. We did a class with the die cut machine. Um, the Big Shot Pro does fit in this very nicely. Um, the adapters that come with the Big Shot Pro, you can set in there behind it and they sit upright. Fits perfectly for this. Plus, I have another die cut machine in a photography bag I can fit in there as well. And then a whole tote full of um, other things. These are rubber stamps for doing with the die cutting. Um, all the latches are latched down securely, and then you can tote it around really easily. The wheels work really well on concrete, asphalt. As you can see here, they work just as well on the brick of my patio. That's the 1660 Pelican Large Case. I will have the full review at jeffsreviews.com. Thank you very much.